Hi, and welcome to my first Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple vortex design using Photoshop. Now, I found this Photoshop online, but I decided to do a video so you guys can see how it's done. So what you want to do is you want to open up a new Photoshop document. My dimensions are 600 by 800. And what you want to do is you want to come down to the bottom left hand corner and make sure that your foreground color and your background color are black and white. Now you can start with a white background, but for today I'm going to start off with a black background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Alt and hit Backspace just once so I can get a solid black background. Now what you want to do is you want to come up to Filter render clouds to get a nice cloud effect come back up to filter and down to pixelate and choose mesotint now make sure you have short stroke selected from these choices here you want to choose short strokes and click OK now come back up to filter down to blur and choose radial blur. Make sure your amount is 100 and choose zoom as your blur method and your quality best. And click OK. Now after you get this nice zoom effect here, it doesn't look smooth. So what you want to do is you want to hold control or command and hit F just once to repeat the process. And you can hit it more than once if you want to, but just once will do the trick. So now we have this smooth vortex. And what you want to do now is you want to um, duplicate this layer. And you can duplicate this layer in more than one way. You can hold Control or Command and hold and hit J and you'll have this layer duplicated or you can just grab the background layer and bring it down and it is duplicated. Now on the duplicated layer you want to go up to filter come down to distort and choose twirl now bring your angle to 100 degrees and click OK. After you get that nice twirl in, you want to come down to the blending mode and change it to lighten. And now we have this cool sort of vortex effect. Kind of looks like a flower, but that's exactly what you want. So after we're done that, what you want to do is you want to merge these two layers together. Now, you can hold Control E, and that is one way to merge them. But it only works if you have just those two layers. Otherwise, if you have more than those two layers, it will merge all of them together, and you don't want that. But if you just have those two layers, you can just click Control E, or if you have more than one layer, just right click on the background copy and merge down. And you have those two layers merged together. Now after we have our vortex, we want to give it some color. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new layer and grab your gradient tool and come up here and edit your gradient. Now you can choose whichever colors you want. It's very easy. Um, I'm going to choose my cold gradient. And down here you can see that it says solid. You can change that to noise if you want to so you can have more variety of colors. And when you come down here and click randomize it gives you even more colors and different blends. So keep clicking until you like one that you really want to use. 
and just keep clicking but today I'm going to just use solid and click OK now after you have chosen your colors for your gradient you want to click on the top of your image and just drag down to the bottom and let go now you have this nice gradient palette over your image now what you want to do next is you want to come down to the blending mode and just go down until you see one that you like um, I personally like overlay because I like the way it looks and you don't have to use overlay but that's the one I'm using for today you could just keep going down and find one that you really like but I'm going to choose overlay and now our vortex design has color so I hope you like my tutorial it's my first one so hopefully it was useful and gave you guys pretty good ideas so if you have any ideas or tutorials that you would like me to do just leave a comment thanks for watching